now we're going to get into some very powerful searching tools. We're going to use the search feature and if you go to the edit, search, what will happen is a new window will pop up. Now if you hit the arrange window button here, it will rearrange your document so that you can see your document and the search window at the same time. If it comes up with this document underneath this box here, just hit arrange window and it'll take care of it for you. Now we have some choices here. We can search in the current document, which really is just the same thing as the find feature. But here's where the power comes into it. We can search across all PDF documents that we choose. For example, I can go to my server, I can go to my uh, desktop, I can browse out for a file. I'm going to browse out and find our sample OCR folder and open that. Now when I enter a search term in here, and I happen to have Netscape loaded up, it's going to go through and it will search everything in this folder we have for the word Netscape, every single PDF that's in there. And it could be hundreds or thousands of PDFs. Now we have the same ways that we can narrow down the search. We can search by whole word only. We can make it case sensitive. We can include bookmarks or comments just like we did in the find feature. But watch what happens when I hit search. It's going through those documents and it's pulling up every single instance of Netscape and it's also telling me where it's finding it, what page. If I hover over it, it'll tell me what page. It's giving me the text around that word. And if I click on it, it's going to actually bring up that very page. And this happens to be in the OCR Gates uh, depot. But here we have some uh, instances of Netscape in the OCR Sparks depot. So I can click on that and it's going directly to the OCR Sparks depot. And I can tell that at the top here as well. And it's, it's showing me every instance of Netscape. Now I can also refine this a little bit farther. I can search my list here by date or by file name or sort my list basically, not search it. And this little button here really just collapses the file name. It can, it can show you the entire pathing of where the document's located, but it's a little confusing to me, so I just collapse that, that file path so I can see just the document name. And one more thing I want to show you in the basic search option is if I wanted to, I know I'm in the OCR Sparks depot here, if I wanted to find another word within this very document, there is a link down here that says find word in the current document, and if I click that, it brings up my find box and I could do something like find uh, Intuit. Let's see if that's in here. Nope, no instances of Intuit within this document. But let's try something that's on our, our page here. There we go. It's finding every instance of customers within this this individual document. This is a huge time saver when trying to locate information across multiple PDFs. And you can see the power that you can have within uh, just this basic searching tool. But the next video, we're going to take it even a little bit deeper and show you some search secrets to drill down even farther.